Hey everybody, I'm Sean Masters, co-founder of Tangelo. And I'm Heather Sorensen, head coach for Orange Theory New District. And we're gonna go over the four fundamental movements you need to master to perform your best and recover as fast as possible during the Transformation Challenge. We've all heard that construction analogy. The deeper and more robust the foundation, the taller and stronger and more resilient the building can become. Your body deserves the same approach because without a strong foundation, you're leaving yourself open to injury which can result in classes missed and momentum lost. We're gonna go over tips you need to know to feel physically competent and emotionally competent around the four fundamental movements that you do at Orange Theory Fitness. The squats where your ankles, your knees, and your hips need to move in harmony and your glutes need to control the motion to prevent excessive load from being directed into your knees and into your lower back. The deadlift where hip shift is vital to make sure that you keep your lower back safe and the load is being directed into your glutes and your hamstrings. Push-ups where scapular control is key. Preserving stability in your shoulder blades helps keep the burn in your chest, your delts, and your arms, and away from your neck and rotator cuff. In the overhead press, moving your thoracic spine, your arms, and shoulder blades in concert is key to maintaining happier and more defined shoulders and less aches and pains. Absolutely. Not only are these movements relevant for inside the studio, but they're also applicable for things outside of the studio, such as going for hikes or playing with your children. Things that get that heart rate up as well as reduce those stress levels. Set up in a squat stance that is comfortable for you. Make sure your knees move over the middle of your foot on the way down. You can use a TRX or place your hands in front of you for balance. Pause just shy of your normal stopping point. At the bottom, engage your glutes as hard as you can for 10 seconds. Make a fist, tense your core, but make sure to breathe. Come on up, repeat 10 times, and try to go down a quarter to a half inch lower each rep. Place a dowel, golf club, or broomstick behind your back. Make three contact points, tailbone, mid-back, and back of your head. With soft knees, push your hips back away from your heels. With a neutral spine, keep pushing hips back and allow the chest to come down towards the floor. Push back until you feel that tension in your hamstrings. And once you feel the hamstring stretch, hold that for five seconds while engaging your glutes. Come back up and repeat. Set up in a standard position or with an incline or knees on the ground. Place hands under the shoulders and lock in a focal point, helping to preserve a neutral head and neck. Push palms or fists into the floor like you're pushing the earth away from you. Slowly lower your chest to the floor a few inches while keeping the elbows straight and head neutral. Pause for two seconds at the bottom, then push the floor away and draw your chest towards the ceiling without rounding your mid back. Push away as hard as you can for five seconds and then repeat. Set up in a neutral or staggered stance. Position your arms in a W shape with your elbows underneath the wrists, core engaged and chin level to the floor. Really put tension on those straps. While maintaining tension the entire time, slowly move through the full range of motion. Work within the greatest pain-free movement you can perform. Pause at the top for two seconds and then return down on a five second count and continue to repeat as long as you're maintaining tension on those straps. We hope these tips help you build confidence around the four fundamental movements to help you dominate the transformation challenge. I'm Sean Masters with Tangelo. And I'm Heather Sorensen with Orange Theory Fitness. We'll see you guys next time.